New at six tonight, cracking down on a deadly problem, illegal gunfire. Now Metro police are testing new technology to help spot where gunshots are coming from. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live near Craig and Lamb to explain how this works. Joe. Yes, yeah, uh, excuse me, Tricia, this if this technology has been used actually around the country and it looks very similar to these sensors that we're just noticing here on top of this restaurant here, that white pipe kind of coming up from the roof area there. And these sensors, they listen for gunshots. And we know just as recently as last night, Metro Police were in this area testing the system. It's a problem, especially around the holidays or when people decide to fire shots into the air or at each other. Currently, some police departments rely on folks calling in shots fired, but 90 cities across the U.S. are now using Shot Spotter. So how does it work? It starts with sensors. It's a sophisticated system made up of acoustic sensors placed on buildings, light posts, and other objects to locate gunfire. And Las Vegas Metro Police are working right now to test and eventually implement the system. If a gun is fired anywhere in the area, multiple sensors detect and timestamp the sound. This was the first area tested last night in the northeast part of the valley near Craig and Lamb, Craig and Nellis, and Nellis and Gowan. The department plans to shoot a variety of guns to test the accuracy of the system. The benefit? It'll give police a much better idea of the type of weapons and the location of shots. Contact 13 has learned Metro Police will test fire different parts of the valley. The final rollout and installation may still be several weeks away. And the system is being praised in Fresno, California. Just six months ago, a gunman opened fire and killed three people. Police got an alert within 30 seconds and about, get this, 16 feet from where those first shots were fired, credited with saving lives there. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.